Hi guys, this is Steve Darcy from Go Engineer, and today we're going to be modeling up a projector mount for the Go Engineer Dallas office training room. So the story goes like this. I'm out of Austin, Texas, and I'm driving up to the Dallas office to do some training, and I heard that they got a new projector. Thinking that's a cool thing, I'm a little excited because I'm a nerd, and I'm hoping it's a new 4K projector. Well, when I get to Dallas, I see that the projector is still in a box on a desk. Cool enough, not 4K, but super bright, and of course, way better than the old projector. But then I see this, a bunch of wires hanging out of the ceiling mount. Ugh, right? Typical instructors would freak out and probably go call maintenance or something. But at Go Engineer, we don't just sell SOLIDWORKS modeling software and services. We also sell and support the Stratasys line of 3D printers. And the Dallas office has a nice variety of printers just waiting to be used. I'm going to draw a couple lines on this pick for my mounting screws. Just take a middle note of this and we'll come back to this in the model. Here's a list of printers I pulled off the Go Engineer website. And I'm going to go with the F370 printer just because it's already plugged in and it has some good white ABS plastic. It's ready to go. Engineering and design is all about taking what you know, making something cool and new, and of course, it's gotta be functional. I need some data, and the best place to look is the original equipment and manufacturer user guide for some of the mounting dimensions. And page 16 has got them, uh, millimeters. Well, anyway, time for some modeling in SOLIDWORKS. So here we're modeling in SOLIDWORKS, and you can see I'm in millimeters. And I got all the dimensions, got the geometry, just like in the user manual. And then we just finish out of the sketch. And you can see I just created a thin feature, uh, just some little cylinders out there. Let's go ahead and change this over to inches. Doesn't matter what unit, we can go back and forth. And if we take a look at this sketch, and it's flipped around a little bit, so I'm gonna use a little trick, Alt and the cursor keys. Flip this guy around. So this is kind of the direction uh, going upward is now in the direction of where the screen's gonna be for the projector. And you can see I've got this in the top right hand corner. And what I wanted to do is kind of center where the position of this is with the position of the mounting holes. So I tried to center them up as best I could. So that way the uh, projector's not gonna be a little bit wonky once it's up there on, on the screen. All right, so same thing, just do a thin, thin extrude. We get some little cylinders out there. Then I just decided to connect the dots, then connect the outer dots. Then we needed some kind of a base structure, so give it a little bit of thickness. And I probably could have stopped right there, but of course this is SOLIDWORKS and might as well make it look a little crazy. And of course I'm 3D printing it, so it doesn't really matter. As long as the height is the same, it's gonna be pretty uh, consistent. All right, then add a bunch of fillets, some chamfers for the countersink holes, and uh, we're looking like we've got a really good part. And so now the only thing to do is to save it out as an STL file. And print that. So the next morning, the print's done, but the holes that I measured using a measuring tape uh, didn't quite line up so well. So I used some zip ties for the first day of training till I could make some changes that evening. Uh, not all designs are perfect on Rev 1, so on to revision number two. Uh, moved the holes, printed it. The next morning, we were good to go. Everything lined up as expected, and the new projector was up and running for day two of training. Hope you liked my story, and maybe it'll give you a quick jolt of creativity to go and model and make something rather than just order it on Amazon. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe. This is Steve Darcy from Go Engineer. Model on.